afternoon, everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call, 3 p.m. Eastern, July 26, 2019. As we continue to expand with our awareness, and as uh, Mother Earth uh, expands as well, amazing energies will start to filter in. Now, understand that some people, because they're not aware, uh, will, will kind of perceive them as, as um, disruptive because, uh, remember, uh, most of us are comfortable being uncomfortable. That makes sense. I've said that before. In other words, they've gotten into the habit of being discomforted, but to them it's comforting because to them it's not uh, discomforting, it's comfortable. In other words, the life that, that <clears throat> excuse me, that we lead here uh, it is is so uh, involving, I guess you could say. So, uh, um, I don't know, brainwashing, we'll put it that way. We'll, we'll put it, uh, we'll say brainwashing. So, when we um, begin to understand that, and then we become awake, and we start identifying these waves of energy that come in, which are absolutely spectacular, blossoming, uh, energizing us in ways that we could never imagine, which means that you feel automatically uplifted. You feel uh, rejuvenated, generated, uh, and understand that the dark ones don't want you to know what that is. They say they want you to think that it's negative and it's actually the opposite. So when we, uh, and I, uh, I've talked to some people that are already uh, elated on the waves, the energies that are streaming in, because you understand that our solar system is moving through a and it does it every several thousand years, it's moving through a photon energy belt in cosmic energies. Um, actually, the whole galaxy is moving through a photon energy belt. And it's very enlightening, very exceptional, pure uh, source energy. And so if you feel it, you know, if you start feeling it, you might, you know, you might get a little lightheaded at times because the waves will come in. And, uh, you know, some people, you know, frightened about that, but it's, it's good. It's good stuff coming in. We have a lot of positive, uh, phenomenally strong uh, shifting uh, happening. And, again, it's how people perceive it. If people are living and they're, they're detached from their gods and they're living and existing only in the physical and they do not commune with their higher self, their God, they'll be disrupted. They'll feel uh, unpeeled, uh, literally, because of the fact that uh, they don't understand. They don't understand, and most people that are in a negative, uh, cynic, cynical, pessimistic type of energy, uh, they will immediately think it's negative. Oh, what's wrong with me? Oh, what's going on? I've never had that before and so on and so forth. And of course, if you go to allopathic, they're going to start saying, well, you know, we think it's this, we think it's this, run blood tests and everything, and then frighten you more and cause you to become more fearful, more stressful, uh, more anxiety-filled. And that's exactly what happens. So understand that these are not negative vibrational frequencies. Remember that we are working in harmony, that we are tuning our 
energy and our frequency to higher frequency so that we're able to move into the higher existence, the higher uh, energy, frequency, and harmony. So the vibrational tone is beautiful and it's melodic. Uh, and it's, it is um, freeing for people that understand what it is. And it also can accelerate your third eye. Uh, the third eye is in, is, is in your forehead between your two eyes, two physical eyes. And the third eye is obviously connected to the, the vortex and the, and the path of connection with the higher energies and the frequencies of source through the pineal gland. And uh, so it's very uh, powerful um, to understand, and, and today our meditation is third eye, the third eye. And what that involves is a seeing clear through all. Seeing clear through all. So you've got just beautiful harmonistic uh, frequencies. You're the molder, okay? You're, you're the artist, you're the sculptor of these energies and when you're aware and your frequency is high it's very empowering very uplifting very high frequency energy you almost feel giddy and remember there is a game being played and the game is outside it's outside of you it's it's everywhere and the game is always depicting, as I'm sure all of you have masterfully finally figured it out, the game that is being played is deception, is always negative, is always doom and gloom, it, and, and then it's lies, and then deceit, and then manipulation. And it continues to do this, and we all know it, say. And, but we do not, we do not choose to engage it, to give it any form of attention or energy. And I think a lot of you have gotten to the point where you have begun to understand, since you look at it, says, I, I, I have no uh, motivation, no draw to engage in that goop and that muck. Because guess what? We've had the experience. We've all had the experience. A lot of us have walked the dark night of the soul. You know, it's a time in your life where you go through a lot of very, very challenging situations. Uh, and you, you learn from it. You, you see the dark, the dark side of the yin and yang. All right? And you walk it. And you experience things with it. And then you come out of it. Some don't. Some don't come out of it. Uh, they're stuck in it. Others do come out of it. When you come out of it, you're renewed from the standpoint. Say, okay, now I know uh, from first hand what the muck is about, what the, what the loop is about. So then you say, well, it's behind me. It's past. It, it, it has nothing to do with now. Nothing to do with now. Okay. And again, we bring up now because in in the third eye, your gateway to the higher realms, the higher frequencies, the higher existences. You see, most of humanity, in fact, most everybody, all of us, they have calcified, fluoridated, uh, uh, crusted, and shrunk, you know, compressed the pineal gland. You know? Notice they don't talk about it, never talk about it, never talk about it, okay? And have you ever heard of anybody that had cancer of the pineal gland? No? I haven't. But it, it's interesting. So it, it is very, very powerful when it is cleansed and through detoxing, of course, with the Fulmina products, uh, is absolutely uh, imperative to cleanse so it becomes 
flexible, resilient, glowing, and expanding. And you learn that it is your gateway. It is literally your gateway, your vortex to source, to the higher realms, to the higher frequencies and existences. So remember that this stuff that's whirling around, okay, outside of us is just stuff. It's just muck. And the reason that it has been around so long is that the civilization has given it the energy to continue. Okay? It's given it its energy to continue. So guess what? We feed everything. We give it the power to continue. We give it the power to continue. And most people don't know that. They don't know that. You know, if you said that to, uh, to those that, that are just not away, they'd roll their eyes at you and think, you know, you're nuts. So, um, it's good to be clear on that. It's very important that you're clear on that. And most people aren't, so that's why you get all of the uh, irritation, they get fear, and they get uh, frustrated and stressed out. That's why. That's why. And then the ego comes in and starts playing games, you know, and then it just continues and continues. So, we have a new awakening for the civilization. It is in its major uh, expansion. We will continue to be uh, exposed, I guess, saturated with these energies. And they're all good. There's not one negative about them. They cannot be stopped. They cannot be manipulated. So they, they communicate with you from your higher self. You'll feel a warm vibration where you reside with your heart mind. This is how you know one is coming in. You'll be very, uh, you'll become at ease. You'll become calm. Could be that you're driving, walking, sitting, talking with somebody continuously. Okay? And remember something. And see, this is what's been constantly pulled away from humanity. This is, this is the unfortunate, well, one of the unfortunate things. Through it forever. It doesn't matter if your body was genetically, you know, Don and, and uh, Anunnaki and Pleiadian and everything. It, it has nothing about the vessel. The vessel, okay, so that's what it was done. We're talking about your God, all right? You, you are all there is. You're all there is. And when you embrace that and understand it, then you'll start connecting the dots on what that means. If you trust and remember this one thing, you're all there is. You are the supreme reality. You always have been, and you always will be. Remember that. Trust it. And the, the wisdom lies in never forgetting the self, the supreme absolute, as the ever-present source of both the experiencer and the experience. And this is what you say to yourself. I am beyond consciousness, and so in consciousness, 
I cannot say what I am, yet I am. Let go of the idea that you are not aware of yourself as the ever-present, changeless, inexpressible reality. Just let go. And when you want nothing, seek nothing, expect nothing, okay? When you want nothing, seek nothing, expect nothing, then the supreme state will come to you uninvited and unexpected. Stop making use of your mind and see what happens. Stop making use of your mind and see what happens. Do this one thing thoroughly. That is all. And that is street. That's Ragata Maharaj. This is very important. You are the supreme reality. You're all there is. Just trust and remember that. All of you. All of us. Can you feel just in those words, just in that vibration frequency, a wave just came over you. It came up from your feet all the way up into your legs, up into the heart area. You see, everyone, we have been convinced that all we are are forms of flesh and blood that we're unimportant, that we have no power, that we have no creative power, nothing, that we must follow external authority, that we must follow external authority thinking for us, leading us. You see, why do you think so many humans have such low self-esteem? Why do you think so many question everything about their ability and who they are and what they are. The supreme reality. That's all there is. So if you will, go to the place where you're not going to be interrupted, and I'm sure most of you are. And what you want to do is you want to relax. How do you relax? You go into the now. Move yourself into the now. Not the past, not the future. Not 10 minutes from now, not 20 minutes ago, not yesterday, 10 years ago, not, not a year from now, not five months from now, not two weeks from now, but the now. That's why we call it from now. Two years from now. Be in the now. The body then relaxes, releases. It is quiet, calm. It is blissful, joyous, at peace. You'll find your shoulders will drop. Wave of relaxation, peacefulness, quietness, tranquility. You have no need for anything. You require nothing. And as you're doing this, you're going to want to breathe. You want to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And you want to do this at least six times. And as you breathe in, you want to hold it. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. And then exhale through the mouth. 
for all those that are new. Why do we have to hold our breath? We hold our breath because it moves you into focus on the now. It cannot fail. You focus on your breathing, you're focusing on the now. The breath is always in the now. It cannot be in anything else. It is always in the now. Now, when you breathe in, you're breathing in divine positive energy. And what is divine positive energy? It is everything. It is source creator. It is mother, father, God. It is prime source creator, God, our family. It is all that there is, ever has been, ever will be. It is the collective consciousness of the universes. It is filled with information. And it is directed. How is it directed? When you are in peace and you are in a wonderful, enlightened state of peace, joy, and love, it identifies with this and it literally communicates the higher frequencies of harmony in perfect vibrational frequency. This is what the message comes in. And you're the gateway, your pineal, your third eye is the gateway to the other dimensions. It is the gateway to source. It is the gateway that you can use to traverse the sacredness of space. It is the gateway of all that there is, ever has been, and ever will be, ever. It can see things that your eyes never will. It can connect with frequencies and energies like nothing else. Your third eye, omnipotently far-reaching, knowing, expanding, You are the supreme reality. That's all there is. Let that sink in. Feel the joy flooding you right now. Because it's, it's not forced. Because you know it to be true. It isn't about convincing you. Because you know it to be true. And you embrace it with all of your love, all of your joy, all of your peace, all of your kindness that you are. You are the supreme reality. This is the essence of you, your, your third eye. It has no limits. Understand that, it has no limits. Now, when you breathe out, you breathe out all of the contrived and creative frequencies of the lower ether that causes you to feel deprived, distressed, negative towards yourself, distractive, irritated, sad, withdrawn, low self-esteem, low confidence. This is not you, never has been. It is, it is an application of the matrix. You've, you've literally vaporized this away. You have no need for it. Let it go. Let go of the idea that you are 
are not aware of yourself as the ever-present, changeless, inexpressible reality. When you let go, you become even lighter. And you don't look over your shoulder. Remember, you're in the now. We fold into our heart-mind. It's immediate. It is a joy for this. And as we fold into our heart-mind, we find ourselves floating above the heart. We're floating up in the throat. Effortlessly. And as we do this, we're in total peace. We are in with ourselves, our own reality of us, of who we are, of who you are. And you are met with your God. You fully embrace and merge with your God. What this means is, is that you... You become the God on earth. You, you are all that there is, ever has been, ever will be. You are source. You're part of all that there is, ever will be, ever has been. And as you merge... All of the joy, the happiness, the purity of your God is not just inside. It begins to expand out beyond your physical body. You view things much differently. You view them as peace, joy, love. bring heaven to earth. See? Because your God is heaven. It is nirvana. How can you not? You bring the paradise that earth is what has been disheveled and shadowed. You are beautifulness personified. We find ourselves completely encased in a perfect sphere. You see it as it shimmers, glitters, reflects all around you, above you, below you. It is impenetrable. Multitude of color frequencies. And the emerald green flaming healing light of Archangel Raphael. The violet blue purple flaming light of Archangel Michael. The white fire. The purple transmuting flame. If you understand what these are, they are part of you. Violet ray, cleansing energy, purifying. Purple transmuting flame, dispels, disintegrates, transmutes. White fire, your armor. The the purple violet blue light of, of, of flaming light of Archangel Michael, your resolve your strength, your steadfastness, your unwillingness to give quarter, your unwillingness to withdraw, it powers you forward. The golden white pink light of source, right? source creator God, mother, father, God, our family. This is the ultimate. It is the pureness of your God. It is the 
power of your God. Arm in arm, hand in hand, we form our circle of light. Vibrant, you can see the light flames bristling off of the light. Nothing can penetrate our field unless it is of the highest frequency of deep, eternal love, from deep, eternal love, and the deepest, deepest, deepest gratitude. We literally envelop Gaia, Earth, the planet, from head to toe, all the way around. We purify its skies, water. This is, con this is continual. We dispel disharmony. We set things right. We balance the yin and yang. The water, the soil, all the life inside and out. Completely encapsulated as we are. We begin to move up effortlessly. Float up above the planet. As we do this, they can see the reflection in, in her waters of our light, the multitude of colors that it literally reflects, saturate and fuses all that there is, ever has been, ever will be. And obviously, we, we immediately are drawn to invite our other brothers and sisters, our other parts, all of the light energy beings, who are everywhere in all dimensions, all eternities, all existences, all densities, all the universes, the trillions and trillions of universes. They are the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love. What does that mean? It means they only vibrate in the high frequencies. That's their harmony. They are in the deepest, deepest, deepest gratitude always. They are in joy and peace and love and harmony, benevolence and tranquility. And they come. And the Googleplex is filling this universe, filling it. Arm in arm, hand in hand, they come in, they connect, they connect, they connect. The ever-expanding life. We are in the deepest, deepest, deepest gratitude for them as they are in the deepest, deepest, deepest gratitude for us. We are all love, and we are all one. And our light expands. We call upon all of the archangels, all the cherubim, seraphim, archetypes, all of the angels, all the civilization who are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love, who are in peace, joy, reverence, generosity, benevolence. They come in the trillions, arm in arm, hand in hand. They join us. They've been assisting us forever in many avenues while we're in the, these physical bodies. They are in the deepest, deepest, deepest gratitude. And we are in the deepest, deepest gratitude for them. Arm in arm, hand in hand, they merge with us. We are all love. We are all one. And our light expands. We call upon 
on the Ascended Masters. These are those who have escaped the Matrix. These are those who have left the body, however, have decided to continue to assist and take the risk This civilization. They are of the highest, deepest eternal love, from the highest, deepest eternal love. They are in constant joy, peace, harmony, benevolence, tranquility, generosity, love. Guan Yin, Maitreya, Buddha, Lakshmi, Ganesh, Gaia, Amoria, Evidentia, Sananda Jesus, Saint Germain, just to name a few. And they all come. Massive numbers. Arm in arm, hand in hand, they join us. They are in the deepest, deepest, deepest gratitude. They are always in gratitude. As we are in the deepest, deepest, deepest gratitude. As we move to be always in gratitude. And our light expands, and we are all love, and we are all one. We call upon all the inhabitants of inner earth, hollow earth, Agartha, beneath earth. All of these civilizations who are of the highest and deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love. This means they're of the highest frequency. Fourth dimension, sixth dimension. They are benevolent and kind and peaceful. They are generous, tranquil. And they come in the billions, arm in arm, hand in hand, they join us. And we are in the deepest, deepest, deepest gratitude. Feel that through your heart mind know what it is they are in the deepest 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 gratitude and we are all love and we are all one and our light expands We call upon all of the off-worlders, galactics, the civil, these civilizations who are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love, who are generous, joy, peace, prosperity, abundance, happiness, bliss, kindness. Benevolent, 
tranquil. And they come in the billions. They join us arm in arm, hand in hand. They are elated. They are in the deepest, deepest, deepest gratitude. As we are in the deepest, deepest, deepest gratitude. And we are all love, and we are all one, and our light expands. We call upon all the light energy beings who have decided to be housed in the following forms on and in this planet, in this now. They are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love and peace, tranquility, joy, and bliss. Generosity, happiness, and they come in the trillions, all colors, all shapes, all sizes, some we have never laid eyes upon. Fairies, sprites, elves, gnomes, dwarfs, trees. The elementals, air, earth, water, fire, the mermaids, the dolphin, the whale, the pegasus, the unicorn, all existing physical forms. They come and continue to come and they have joined us and we are all one and we are all love and our light explodes beyond creation. We look up and we see our meditative sphere. It said center circle. We have created this. It is pure, deep, eternal love, ever expanding and growing. It holds all of our meditations in perpetual motion. This is a massive, deep, eternal love energy, frequency, source, creation. It can be seen, heard, and felt in all dimensions, all existences, all densities, all universes, and all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever. And it harmonizes all of the frequencies. And it literally waves and uplifts them throughout all creation. It affects everything. And the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love. We feel it saturates. It literally floods us and saturates us from head to toe in our biological vessel and in our etherical God within this body. It fills us with a kaleidoscope of views through the third eye, through your celestial vision. Your third eye is your celestial vision. You can scope, you master it, you can travel, you can expand, you can interact with all civilizations. You can view in peace and tranquility. Your third eye, a true conduit opening to all that there is, ever has been, ever will be. Right down to the molecules of existence. All of it. It expands. It is being cleansed. It is being nurtured. It is being expanded more and more. Your third eye is your direct connect with source. It floods you, your awareness, the love expanding 
invigorating and flooding you. The joy, the peace, the confidence, your, your, your awareness that you're all that there is, ever has been, ever will be. You are the supreme reality. That's all there is. We look down on the planet, we see our brothers and sisters, we see all life, in and out, around and beyond. We flood them, saturate them with this same knowing. It embraces them softly, carefully. It warms them. It literally elevates them out of the muck and the goop that we've all been buried in from the beginning. It showers them with cleansing particles of love. It flickers and glitters all around them, inside of them. They become more in love. They become more in peace, more in joy. They lack for nothing. And we love them all. And we love all things. We love everything. For if we love ourselves, we will love all that there is, ever has been, ever will be. No matter how it portrays its surface, we still shall love all 
breathe this in. Take this. It's, it's virtual. It's reality. I think we all agree it's time that all of us embrace it, accelerate our moving forward, understand that we are in charge with the masters and the commanders, so we elevate our frequency. It's staying in love. It's being at peace. It's being in joy. We're getting all the help we could possibly imagine. And then some. You're the supreme reality. That's all there is. We're all diamonds, all faceted, all reflective, all brilliant, all beautiful, all light-filled. Take it with you for the rest of the day into the evening and night into the next morning. We'll be back here at 3 p.m. Eastern, July 27th, 2019.